everyone! Welcome to The Nation Episode 7 and today we will be doing things a little bit different. And as you see I have a new intro and I hope you all really love it because it's made by Damien and if you really want to go and get one yourself be sure to add him on Skype. I'm gonna put his Skype name in uh, the chat. He does charge for it but I think he does not charge enough. Okay it might be a little bit expensive but it's my friend so he made them for free. And I love it. It's really awesome. So Rogers is also back. He's a new member again. Like he was like me. Um, a old member. And he rejoined recently. So we're going to help him out today too. So as some project. We're going to start out with the chicken form. So that's the first thing we're going to do. So yeah. Let's start with that. So guys, I do not want to spend too much time on this chicken machine. I have some axe and everything prepared. I'm gonna get some glass and finish this off first so the chickens can escape. Just to prove you guys what it does, so just, just throw these blocks in here. Just throw like three blocks in there. You can see them not anywhere that's because they're in here. So what actually happens is there's a really easy machine this year. So you have all your chickens in here, nothing special like your grown up chickens. And you're not gonna kill them or anything, you're just gonna leave them in pooping eggs. The eggs will be transported into this dispenser, and this dispenser, just open up here. This dispenser here is connected to this um, competitor in his uh, subtract mode, uh, with the torch up, not down, up. And what it does is check for items in there, and it only has to be on one item, that's why I put a repeater, so no matter what items it will pulp, give a pulse here. And if you might know, there's a clock, if you put a full power source into this one side and this one here, it subtracts what happens every time this one goes through, deactivate itself, this is off, can activate itself, and it's going to be in a clock really fastly, so I'm going to put just put some items in there, let's just put a ton of, um, let's see what do we have it done, like, let's put it 9 redstone, so you can see it's flickering, and until there is no item in there anymore and everything is out. So what's going to happen with this machine? The chicken will put eggs into this dispenser. The dispenser will um, put the baby chickens in here on the slab. They're only half block tall, so there's going to be lava above them. And as soon as they grow up, they will be in the lava. We will kill them and drop their cooked meat into this chest. So we'll get some nice glass around this here and we'll finish this up and I'll see you guys then. So I finished it off, so we're going to put our chickens in the machine and let them die. No, these, these chickens won't die, so let's put them in. Let's see how lucky we have. So 32, 32 plus 3 is 35. 35. How many chickens are we going to get? 2... Come on, three, let's throw some of these, four, five, wait, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. do we already have eight? Nice. Nine, that's nine. Nine chicken, not bad, I want to have a few more. So what we'll do for now is, let me just stick in here, we'll put this on, we'll just destroy this piece of redstone, put it in this dispense, uh, in this hopper, in uh, this chest here, and as soon as the uh, chickens there start laying eggs, we will be getting our eggs from in there, we'll just dig a little hole here, we'll get our eggs out of there, and put them in the there and as soon as I think we have enough I'll put them in there and we'll have some nice little chickens. So now I'm gonna go over to the end and get some obsidian. See you guys in the end. Let's just quickly go there. Hop. So here we are in the beautiful end where nothing is. We will be mining down this pillar or at least a huge part of it. We'll be mining a stair upwards and then start going downwards so we can get some beautiful obsidian. I've been, like, been quickly to the um, Enderman farm, so I got myself a cool name, Claude, that was already there. 
Uh, but we have working ball already there, but this one is new. So lucky ball, just renamed this one. I think it's pretty cool. Like I, I want to name my tools to something cool with a husky reference in them. So I think that's pretty cool. So let me just quickly mine this out here. So let me do that quickly. So guys, I actually have to turn down my sound for this machine. We got six stacks. Like, oh my god, we got six stacks of obsidian. I hope you like the like, Lyoko speed mine. Um, it is fastened by, I think, six times. It's six times faster than the original. It's pretty crazy, though. It took me like 25 minutes to do that exactly. So let's see, like, there's nothing special to threats anymore. We're just gonna have to get some uh, stone bricks, and that's also involving the next project. But as you can see, we have a ton of food. So I completely start with this kind of food source, so um, this is gonna be much better. But we also have still have like for people who need it, there is still some uh, extra baked potatoes in here, so feel free to take them. I'm not gonna use them anymore. So let's go start at our furnace project because I have some cool ideas. So guys, this is what I came up with. I think it's pretty cool. This is my design, it's totally mine. I know it's not blue, but that's because these two colors of blue there are horrible I know it's because of the like the stained clay already has kind of a color so um, there is even though any kind of blue that really comes close to it so I'm not gonna even pick it so I'm just gonna use red I think it's cool instead of lava you're just gonna use like just rather these some um, iron fences wait iron bars to um, make it look cooler otherwise it's a bit plain and we're just gonna copy this over for like a few times and have a cool window here so yeah let me quickly do that I make also a flower farm because I don't have any red uh, things let me just do that be back so guys as you can see here I moved the hallway a little bit further and I put some more branches in here because it's a floor otherwise it would have been oh so boring so I don't want that and I'm, I'm not even gonna use this hopper clock because one thing it's gonna take a fill up with coal, so I just did a trick here, like changing the blocks, like here's this other block, so they don't stack up. To make it only use one of these, but still, that's still a lot of coal, that's like 1, 2, 3, times 4, is 12 stacks of coal that's never gonna be used. It's not gonna be lost, but it's not, never gonna be used, so that's a ton of coal that I cannot afford, so I'm gonna use a real system. I'm gonna connect it into a loop that is still controlled by by just flicking one lever, and I'm just gonna do like every system in the brewery. I'm kinda used to the system, so it's not gonna take a long while like it did then, so yeah, let me quickly work on that. So guys, as you can see, it's all finished, it's all ready, ready to be used, and I just heard a spider, and this one side is just smelting here, and this lever here is new, and this chest is new, of course, as you can see, I still have to remove this, still have to do the um, exterior, but the interior here is done, edit this here, so you can see the minecart go, I might need to change that to stone brick still, because it's visible, I don't want to be, like, have a visible uh, ship blocks, I don't want to have, oh, nice and clean so let me just show you guys how this now works so let me just dig in here let's see the, oh whoops 
Let me get up here. So, as you can see, the track is a bit weird here. Uh, it took me some time to figure out how I'm going to do this, but this works out perfectly. So what happens, as soon as we turn on the machine, this one here, like this powered rail here will go on. The minecart will go here, go over this one, which like the other system, triggers a long delay that goes under there, under there, there's a repeater in there, into this block that goes into this block and then this one into here. Okay, this one is not needed, but so, when we start it, this one's rail is turned on, this one goes here, it takes 9 to 10 items, it's a bit weird because it's random, but it takes 9 or 10 items, then it goes under, through here, up here, over these hoppers, the fires, it's kind of like equally, it at least puts one item everywhere, at least, so that's good, it's kind of what we want that, goes up there, goes over here, Tried some like the systems not like for example what went wrong a lot is that the micro just goes through and has too much speed and just goes on. I tried to put like uh, powered rails here that are deep power to slow it down and then it's too slow and then it doesn't work and then it's random. So uh, to reset the speed of the micro, I'll let it drop and just in one regular um, powered rail there, and the speeds here is gonna be always the same, so it's not gonna mess up. So that's why this here is, and also that's going to be able to make it turn off, so when I turn it off, after it's done its cycle, it drops here. Also, if we would have stopped it here, the micro will always run full, and I don't want that because I don't have that much coal, so we're just going to leave it here. That would be good for in the future, I guess, but that's going to be even more difficult to, to connect it up so that this redstone cannot be powered this when we trigger this lever. So that's pretty much it. So let's just do a, a huge test run. I put every coal we have in there. So it all goes in this chest. It's pretty obvious, I guess. Let's just help the system a little bit by putting some coal in here. Let's see, there we go. We'll close this beautifully off. I think I might change the like groove a little bit here and do something cool with that too. Like, it's still pretty plain here, so I might still change it, but I like this because we're bringing more design and color into our rooms, and I, I, I even have to say, the window doesn't fit in, but from the outside it really fits it well, so I'm not going to change it, so better for the outside, I guess. So let's just see, we flick it on, let's just grab out, a bunch actually is just do one through three or something, oh, I just ran it in. Okay, that's it. So let's use three of these to put it in and sort it. So it's going to go there. As you can see, it's there. Yeah, you'll be able to see it there. And then it goes here, goes up there, goes over there. Oh, so many people are joining. How nice. Let's see. It's already 62 now. There it goes for its next time. Goes up there, goes up there, goes up there. As you can see, boom, next run. However, I would like to see this one though. Just quickly see this one. Oh, we cannot get into it. There is a lot more in this one though. But who cares? It gets one call at least. Oh, there we go. Let's see how many this one gets. There we go. So let's see. Let's quickly see. Come on, Minecraft, go quick. We need you. Got one item too, so it's kind of perfectly, I guess. Some of these might get some more, I guess, but let's just put this back here. So I guess this machine. Oh, sorry. I guess this machine is kind of done. Are we gonna be able to use it? And I'm gonna smell a lot of stone bricks. This room is entirely made by this machine, so that's pretty cool. I might set up an extra furnace, like or change some furnaces, so that uh, I'd automatically extract cobblestone there or press a lever or something. But that might be a next project. For now, I'm gonna call this done. Uh, I'm just gonna work a little bit on the exterior, and then we'll see. Let me quickly do that. So, so guys, I guess this is it for today. I did some work on the exterior to work it into the terrain. There was some stone around, and there was a cap between there. And I kind of like it like this, like it's still, like it fits in there, this one goes a little bit back in so it pops out a little bit, like the entrance and everything, I think it's pretty cool. Um, the red doesn't mess up from inside, neither outside, so that's good. Got some term for on top of there too. 
Uh, this is grass still needs to grow, so I'm putting a lot of torches down here so it's gonna grow. Some terraforming here to fit it all in. So that's gonna be mostly it for today. I hope you guys all enjoyed. So I'll just quickly check how much chicken we got. And then we'll round up things and I'll see you guys next time. I'm curious. Ready? Oh my god, we got an extra stack. I didn't really have game much. But this machine is definitely working great. So, hope you guys all enjoyed. Next time, I will be gathering resources. No, I'm not going to be. Between next time, this time and next time, I will be gathering resources. And I hope you all guys, you all enjoy this. Uh, no, I don't think if I'm putting it in. But there's Damien the made out outro, like I said. I'm not putting it in yet. I'm going to change it soon. But yeah. Hope you guys all enjoy it. See you guys all later. Blue Husky out, or should I say Steve? I don't know. Mike, Mike, Mojang, Minecraft, whatever, notch, chap, fix this, please, 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 bye!